We're gonna watch and comment on David Bombal's top five network certifications for the year of 2022. We're gonna compare his videos to my top five best network certifications of the same year, 2022. But mine was only for associate level. I also have the best CCNP exam combinations video for those who are new to this channel. Welcome. I am your host, named Steen Armada, and I am career and certification captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. results so ccna cisco certified network associate certification i get 192,000 results ccmp i get 191,000 results and if i search for ccie in the united states i get 3,731 results that little test tells me that you should rather invest your time getting a ccna certification rather than a Juniper certification, rather than an Aruba certification, assuming that everything else is equal. Now, there's nothing wrong with Juniper certifications. There's nothing wrong with Aruba certifications. They are great certifications. But Cisco is the biggest networking vendor out there. So if I look at some statistics of the worldwide top five Ethernet switch companies, you'll see that Cisco has the biggest market share. Cisco are the biggest networking vendor out there. If I was starting today and I was looking at my first networking certification, the certification that I would get is the Cisco CCNA certification. That is my first certification in 2022. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with the other certifications, but if everything is equal, if you have to pay for yourself, I think that the return on investment on a CCNA certification is gonna be a lot greater than other certifications. But let's say your employer is paying for these certifications and they want you to get a Juniper certification or an Aruba certification, then by all means, get those certifications. All right, um, I actually agree with him. CCNA is still the most popular network certifications or even the most popular IT certifications out there. And having a CCNA and learning those skills will definitely give you an advantage. I also have this another vlog, okay? And the title is commenting on CCNA is just a waste video. This dude's discouraging people like you not to take CCNA. They say it's worthless. Okay, so let's continue. So what I'm gonna do is I will jump to maybe somewhere, okay, here, the, the second, can decide to go and do other things. So as an example, my second certification is the Cisco DevNet Associate certification. Now, years ago, we only had routing and switching as an option. Then we got additional certifications in data center. We got service provider. We got other certifications from Cisco. So you could get CCNA and then you could get CCMP and other certifications in different areas. The Cisco DevNet certification is a newer certification. But today, in today's world, you cannot just do networking. You need to have an understanding or an appreciation of programming languages such as Python. You need to understand APIs. You need to understand JSON. That's even part of the CCNA today. But I see this as two main roads that you can take. You can be a traditional networking engineer with a bit of programming, or you can decide to focus more on DevNet and have a strong emphasis on network development. In other words, network automation or development in a networking context and have an understanding of networking. You need to decide what you enjoy. Do you enjoy programming with a bit of networking or do you enjoy networking with a bit of programming? Now, if you don't like to code, if you really don't like to code, then focus on the traditional networking path, but be aware that you cannot get away from some type of programming or a bit of programming. You're gonna come. All right, um, so DevNet Associate, it's okay. It's actually top, three of my network or best networks, um, best network certification associate level. My top two is F5 certified big IP administrator. 
Okay, and of course, the top one is CCNA. Again, uh, this certification is okay. Knowing network-based APIs, network automation fundamentals is somehow important as, as a professional, as a network engineer. Um, you can check this review uh, or this video where I review this certification and I also provided ratings. Now, I want to comment on what David said he said you cannot get away of some type of programming as a network engineer. Well, I totally disagree. Yes, you can get away. It's still not too many companies going for DevNet. Also, there is what we call software-defined networking. For Cisco, we have Cisco ACI or application-centric infrastructure. This offloads creating Python scripts for network automation because it already have a built-in automation features. All right, so let's continue. Come across APIs. You're going to come across Python. Network automation is here to stay. You need to be able to speak that language. So even if you focus very heavily on networking, you still need to understand network automation in today's world. So first certification that I would suggest that you concentrate on is CCNA. Second one is the Cisco DevNet Associate certification. That's the path that I would take today if I was starting again. And as always, this is my personal opinion. This is what I would suggest you do if you are starting today. CCNA, then DevNet Associate, and then you can decide what you wanna do. If you wanna focus on development, you can go and get to the DevNet Professional Certification. But if you wanna focus on traditional networking, if you like, you can get your CCMP. All right, um, the problem with DevNet is, is a little how many network companies are really moving towards to network automations? There are some, yeah, but most of the use cases for DevNet or network automation in general is data center networking. The probability that companies will use DevNet on enterprise, collaboration, security, and even service provider is this slim. If you ask me the value of Cisco certified uh, DevNet professional, um, it's not that high and it should not be a priority. Associate level is good, and if you would take the professional level, which is Cisco Certified DevNet Professional, I would uh, recommend DevNet Core plus DC Auto combination. Okay, let's continue. Enterprise certification. Now, from a CCMP point of view, I think you've got two very good options. You've got CCMP Enterprise or CCMP Security. Security is a very hot topic at the moment. So you may want to focus on security rather than enterprise. But you may not like working with security stuff. You may prefer working with routers and switches, BGP, OSPF, stuff like that. So have a look at enterprise. Notice here there are a whole range of CCMP certifications, but let's start with CCMP Enterprise. Within CCMP Enterprise, we have the Encore exam. That's the core technologies exam. So that's the first one you're going to get. And then you need to decide what you want to do. So as an example, I recommended last year that you look at SD-WAN. I strongly recommend that you look at SD-WAN in 2022. Software-defined WAN is becoming really, really important. But you may also decide to get the automation concentration exam. The great thing about the way that Cisco have done the CCMP today is that you get your core and then you get these concentration exams and you can take a number of them to give you different skills. So I would suggest CCNA, DevNet Associate, and then you decide, are you gonna become a DevNet professional or are you gonna become a enterprise engineer? So CCMP Enterprise. Now, this as always may not be the correct path for you. You may prefer to do security so you may decide to rather focus on security. So security is a very hot topic at the moment. So if you want to spend more time on security stuff, then perhaps don't do the CCMP enterprise. Look at CCMP security. So in that case, you would start with the Cisco Security Core Technologies exam, and then you need to decide. I would have a look at the firepower concentration. Companies need firewalls. But notice there are different options here. The great thing here is that you can decide to do the core exam and then add some concentration exams to that. 
So going back to enterprise as an example, you may prefer doing advanced routing and switching because you want to go and get your CCIE certification. So he mixed associate and professional level certifications. And this is all about CCNP track of his choice. So he chose enterprise and security. Enterprise track is probably the most popular and the most related to CCNA, of course. And security, probably the most valuable CCNP track or even CCIE track. He suggested few exam concentrations or few exam combinations. But what I did is I talk about not just CCNP track, but the seven best CCNP exam combinations because there are too many exam options. You only need two to be a CCNP. All right, so let's continue. Let's look at the last certification. That would be my next certification. CCIE has been for many years, and I still think is very relevant in today's world. That is a very difficult exam. Don't think that if you're starting in networking. All right, God. I really thought he will say Network Plus. Network Plus is a garbage. So yeah, I, I feel good about it. CCIE, the number five, is an expert level certification, but nevertheless, um, this is a good list, okay? For CCIE, uh, value-wise, it can be compared to the other certifications. You cannot compare CCIE to CCNA and CCNP. Okay, and from my previous video about CCIE, it's still the best certification out there. And yeah, check this video all about CCIE. Now let's continue. Today, so you're starting in 2022 that you're gonna get your CCIE. That's too much of a leap. There's too much knowledge to gain to get a CCIE. Certifications are a great way. Well, of course. It's like grade school trying to learn basketball. And then after a few months of playing, he wants now to play in NCAA or NBA as a basketball player. Come on! Like expected, they mixed associate level, professional slash mid-level, and expert level certifications. And honestly, it's so wrong because audience may confuse themselves. For example, I'm new into networking or maybe just one year of experience. CCIE is definitely not for me right now. And CCNP, maybe another year or couple of years more. And this video, this is all Cisco. There are many other networks vendors out there and having their certifications will give you better opportunities such as F5, Arista, and even Juniper. For HP Arua, David keeps mentioning it. I believe having Arista and F5 certifications and skills have more value. 